we have an equation to solve. dy over dx equals 6 times e to the power of 2x minus y. Or we can also put it in the form dy over dx plus y equals 6 times e to the power of 2x. This equation we are dealing with is the inhomogeneous first order linear constant coefficient ordinary differential equation. Let's explain what that means. So inhomogeneous means that, that the, the equation's right hand side isn't equal to zero. And we can see that it isn't. It equals 6 times e to the power of 2x. Then, first order differential equation. It means that the highest order of the derivative we meet in this equation is the first. And here it is. Linear equation. The dependent variable and its derivative both come in the first power. And then finally, constant coefficient. It means that the coefficients standing next to y and its derivative are constants and they are not dependent on x. And it is known that the solution to such an equation is found as a sum. As a sum of a solution of the corresponding homogeneous differential equation, y sub 0, and the partial solution of the initial inhomogeneous differential equation, y masters. So let's find them and let's start with solving the homogeneous uh, differential equation corresponding to the one we have. So we'll go dy over dx plus y equals zero. And it is the, the differential equation with separable variables, so it can be easily you know, solved. And we go dy over y equals negative dx. Integrating both sides, we obtain ln y equals negative x plus the constant or y sub zero equals to the constant times e taken to the power of negative x. So this is the solution of the homogeneous differential equation corresponding to, to the initial one. So let me just write it somewhere here. So we have y sub 0 equals c times e to the power of negative x. Now let's find this y asterisk. And to do this, let's first take another look at the previously found y sub 0. As we can see, the power of the e is negative 1 times the x. This means that negative 1 is the so-called characteristic number. And if we compare these two powers right here, we'll see that they are different. So obviously negative 1 isn't equal to 2. And this means that our partial solution of the initial inhomogeneous equation can be found as a times e to the power of 2x, where a is the constant we're about to find. Uh, let's now substitute this y asterisk into the initial equation. To do this, we're going to need the first derivative. 
of it and let's find it. So we'll go y asterisk prime equals 2a times e to the power of 2x. And now substituting them into the equation we'll have 2a times e to the power of 2x plus a times e to the power of 2x is equal to 6 times e to the power of 2x. Dividing both sides of this equation, we obtain 3a equals 6 and a equals 2. And this means that our partial solution of the initial inhomogeneous equation equals 2 times e to the power of 2x. Let me just rewrite it closer to y sub 0. times e to the power of 2x so our last step would be to add these two y's so the answer to our initial equation is c times e to the power of negative 1 uh, negative, negative x, I'm sorry plus 2 times e to the power of 2x.